Intriguing matchup in the W on Wednesday night in Phoenix, and it's intriguing to a betting nerd of the W like myself because I think it's one of those things where it's a horrible matchup for one team, and I don't think the market and the point spread represent that. So let's take a look. Phoenix Mercury at home hosting the Minnesota Lynx. Lynx four-and-a-half point road favorites. Buck 62-and-a-half is your over-under. Now, a couple things just macro. Minnesota's on a roll. They've won and covered five straight since returning from the Olympic break. Obviously, the Pisa Collier coming back healthy after she was injured going into the break. They're the three seed, a half game back of the two seed. Like, they're gunning. Like, Cheryl Reed's going to get coach of the year. is going to be probably second runner-up in the MVP. Phoenix is sort of, forgive the pun, a mirage. Like, they do some nice things. Like, their highlight reel, their sizzle reel is very good. But over four full quarters, they're not that good. And they're limited, they're inconsistent, and they have huge sort of uh, weaknesses. And I think that's what really favors Minnesota. So they've played three times this year. Minnesota won by 20 and change, won by double digits in the other game, and then lost by one, a game they were winning by six points with a buck 20 to go, by two points with a few seconds to go, and then Kalea Copper hit a three at the buzzer. So why is this a mismatch statistically? So Minnesota does some awesome things. They're elite defensively. They rank third in efficiency, probably would be one still if Nafisa Collier, who might win Defensive Player of the Year, didn't miss so much time. So they're number uh, three defensively, and Phoenix is fourth worst, ninth. But Minnesota, great. They're number one in assist percentage. So they move the ball. Their half-court sets are excellent. They get open shots, and they have the best team, like shooters around Nafisa Collier. is sort of a poor man's yoke. It's like a big who can shoot threes and also the post and, you know, never gets sped up. Excellent player. So they're, they give up rebounds. So their defensive rebounding is 12. So dead last, their defensive rebound percentage. But Phoenix, even with Brittany Griner, doesn't rebound that much offensively. 11th in the WNBA. So they're not a team that's going to burn them where other teams have just crashed the board. Like Chicago gets a bunch of rebounds. Like that's, that's not what Phoenix does well. Phoenix plays a lot of inside out, shoots a bunch of threes, and just Minnesota's better. So it's a similar style offense, and Minnesota just moves the ball. It pops around, and they've got better players. Copper's excellent. But besides that, like I'm not too worried about Tarasi or even Griner. I, I, I think Minnesota just runs them off the court. And four and a half is a cheap number for a team playing really well right now as well.